Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. Today, we are gonna be hunting raccoons. We are actually gonna be doing a raccoon guide. We're gonna check out all the spots where you will be able to hunt raccoons in their drink zone. And they actually drink here in this beautiful Mississippi map from zero until three or 3.30. So you will need your night vision binoculars. So today we're going to check out all the best spots to hunt for raccoons, how to hunt them, everything you need to know to hunt for that diamond or rare raccoon here in Mississippi Acres. Yes, I know you're upset with me. Miss Alligator, I'm really not worried about you right now. <laughs> Where are you? There she is. There she is. Raccoons drink along the river here. It is a very wet and very foggy map. You are going to need your night vision binoculars. And you're gonna need your Kalman and perhaps a shotgun with birdshot. Guys, stick around right to the end of the video. I am gonna share with you a hotspot map showing you all the very best places to hunt for raccoons here in Mississippi. Guys, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button and ring that notify bell so you guys never miss another video. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you would like to see in upcoming content and Keep on smashing that like button. You guys have been killing it lately. I appreciate you guys so much. Let's head right into it. Okay, guys, so there is a zone right across the river here. Question is, how the heck do I shoot them from here? Now, I don't know if the Kalman can pull off a 200 meter shot and it's gonna be very risky and not a shot I'm gonna take on any kind of trophy raccoon, that's for sure. So raccoons go to level five. I have no idea whether they can make diamond at level four, but if they can, it's gonna be very rare. So generally you are looking for a five male. This is a blonde and blondes are just a fur variation. Your regular fur variation is gonna be brown. There are no more commons. So that's a blonde. You can tell even in the dark and we have a couple females. Oh, I can get pretty close. Look at that. All right, so let's take a shot. So you're Common here can only zero in at 50, 100, and 150 meters. You don't need a vital with the raccoon, but it is gonna help you. It's a, it's a far, far shot. It's okay, we're gonna get that one. Sweet, that was good. Ran out of shots, but we definitely got one of them there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run the river and then I'll cross and come back and hunt the other side and pick up my kills. So you want the Kalman, you want any shotgun with birdshot. I'm carrying the Cachatory with me and I do have my collar, my raccoon squall collar. That's it, that's all I'm carrying, that's all I need. Now tents would also be very handy for this hunt. So the raccoons are gonna be on both sides of the river. So definitely spot ahead and across the river. Okay guys, we found a zone with some actual male common raccoons in it. Isn't that exciting? Three, three level threes. Oh, there's a four. Oh, there's a four. I think diamond is 12, so I don't think he's diamond potential, but that's the one I would like to get. All right, so we are along the river and I have been finding raccoon zones from basically right here and up to about here and then it kind of stopped and I didn't find any in here and now I'm finding them again. So that's interesting. But you're definitely gonna need to tent both sides. I have no idea how I'm gonna get over there and shoot this for. There he is. All right, let's see how close we can get to him. All right, now I have been dropping Gray Fox with the Kalman from 150 meters, no problem. So I am gonna trust the Kalman from 150 on a broadside shot on this raccoon and see how we do and really hope it will be good enough. You don't need a vital once again but they die a lot faster, so it is recommended. A hundred meter shot is even safer. Isn't that cool, guys? Look at these raccoons. Aren't they absolutely stunning? I'm so excited. I'm gonna get right across the river from him. That's gonna be my closest shot, and then we're gonna try and take him. All right, this is gonna be it. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna zero to a hundred. All right, baby. You can do it. All right, two shots and he is done. We got him, he's down to 25. That's the end of that four. Awesome. And I'm sure the rest of them have spooked. That's, oh, you know what? They don't flee that fast. So if you want to take a second one. 
<laughs> or tried to. Oh, I got him there. Don't know what kind of shot. Nope. Now the Coleman is not awesome from a far distance. It does have six shots, but we got the main one that we wanted. All right, so we are actually, let's get them. Okay guys, so I just came in on the other side. I did drop a tent and we have a fleeing raccoon, but they don't flee very fast. If you can get a shot, might as well take it. Oh! They're all over in here. See, they, they don't necessarily flee too fast. It looked like it might have been an okay shot. Maybe not. And I got my ghillie suit back on. It just fell off me somehow. I actually didn't take it off and then I noticed I'm not wearing it anymore. And that's not a good thing. So I have it back on. Here we go. So that is our four. The first shot was a beautiful right lung shot. Second shot was just flesh. And he is a 10.3 and 12 is diamond. So I was correct. 12 is diamond and that is a brown. So that's probably the biggest raccoon we've gotten so far. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And they are so much fun to hunt. Let's find a bigger one. Sweet. So this is where we found him. And I did drop a tent so that I can travel and pick up things when I'm on the other side. There are some outposts, but picking up your kill is gonna be very, very, very difficult. All right, we have a raccoon giving me a warning call, so I'm pretty sure I have a zone. So what I've done here, guys, is I set up a tent over here. We can farm these zones and pick up our kills, basically. But I'm not finding the zones consistently along the river. They're kind of intermittent, so you're gonna have to run your maps and find them. But I will show you a map where all of my zones are. And there is a good chance that you will have similar, probably not the same, but very similar zones to me. All right. So there's a new zone. Unfortunately, all I'm seeing right now are females. I can put out a call. I do have a bit of a questionable one. Let me get hidden. Now the light never bothers animals. You don't need to worry about it. Just turn it off if it's bothering you. Because the light can reflect into your shot. So here they come. I just wanted to see if there were any interesting raccoons in here, but it does not seem so. So let's use our shotgun. So you can use, this is bird shot guys, and this is what I mean. Oh, I need the dog to park. He's going to ruin this for me. Turn the light off. Problem is I'm having a hard time seeing. All right, this is the beauty of a shotgun and raccoons. All right, that was good. That raccoon is definitely going to die momentarily. I should probably put the light back on. And she is down. Pretty cool, right? So this is, looks like a blonde. They are beautiful. They're a little overly common right now, guys. I think they are gonna get adjusted, but there are too many of them. They are not rare but they are supposed to be uncommon and I don't think they're super uncommon right now, but that's just a level one female. And we littered her with shotgun pellets. Sweet, super fun. I love shooting the shotgun at something that does not have wings and I never thought that that would ever happen in this game and it has. So much fun, so much fun. So there's another zone there. All right, so we have some raccoons. All right, they're drinking. Awesome. They can be very, very hard to find along the river. Sometimes the best way to find them is to run the river and find their zone indicators, and then you know where they're gonna be and you can target them. Oh, we have a, f we have a four here. Okay, I think they're alarmed. Look at them. They're getting alarmed from an alligator. The alligators are spooking them. So that can be a problem. So there you have it. There they go. That has nothing to do with me. My wind is perfect. There's the alligator. But at least we did get the zone. So this is where we are. And you're not going to find them all the way along. They're intermittently along the river. But there's big patches where there are none. But I will show you at the end. Okay guys, so we are now out in the fields. And you will find all kinds of raccoons anywhere you have these field markers. So raccoons feed from 3 or 3.30 until 6 or 6.30, and then they rest from 6 until 10 or 10.30. So what I like to do is set up tripods and call them in. Now, if you don't like night hunting, this is probably a better way to hunt raccoons for you. 
just to discover your zones, you can literally run through here and pick up tracks and you will start to find zones right away. We have a level one female quite a ways away. Now remember guys, this collar is good for up to 500 meters. We just can't take any long range shots and get integrity right now. Now I do understand the Coleman's gonna get a buff, but right now 150 meters is the max. We're trying the Coleman out here. 100 meters, we're zeroed perfectly. We got her. Get that one. We got that one as well. So it's really not bad in closer range, but it definitely does need to get a buff. I will agree with you. Let's go get them. But I think this map is absolutely perfect for tripods and tree stands. And there is our second one. And we did get a vital on the first shot as well. 80 meters, so the Coleman did pretty good there. But like I said, you wanna get in real close when you're using it. So let me show you where I am finding some of these zones. So I have quite a few raccoon zones. Like I said, search when you have all these, anywhere there are the grids and you will find raccoons. And I would start the time at 5.30 in the morning if you like to hunt in the daylight and you should be good. And that brings us to the map. So guys, I have put a yellow X on every drink zone that I have found for raccoons and they are all from zero till three or 3.30. That should definitely help you to find raccoons. I did search the entire top coast and the entire left coast and that is what I found. So that is 39 different zones and that should definitely get you going with the raccoons. We do now know what all the rare variations are for raccoons, so let's have a look at that. Now again guys, I will post this map to my Discord for you guys to easily reference, and I will leave the link below the video. Okay guys, we're in the lodge here and I wanted to show you some of the different variations so far. This is just a brown, so that would be your most common variation. This guy is a gray, just a little lighter, and this one over here is a blonde and aren't they gorgeous. Now I actually do have a list of the rares for raccoons, so the common variations are gray, brown, and blonde, and the rares are piebald blonde, albino, gray piebald, and melanistic. There are four different rare variations for them. They go to level five, and their max weight is 13 kilograms or 28.6 pounds. And I'd actually like to show you guys where I am getting this information. So guys, once you get into my Discord, if you go down to the bottom left corner, I have all kinds of reference materials here for you. Now, if you go to all species info, all of these have been updated as of today. And we do have one for Mississippi. Now, this is such an amazing cheat sheet. That's what I'm gonna call it. I did not make it, it was sent to me, but it is amazing. And I really appreciate the work that went into this. Tokyo. So thank you, Tokyo. You're the man. That is amazing. So I actually referenced this myself in my own Discord. I do have a max levels chart for newer players, fur variations, need zone times for every map, including Mississippi. So that's all in here for you guys. And every single hotspot map that I put into a video, I post right here in ladies reference maps for you guys to easily reference. So I will leave the link to my Discord below the video. Would love for you guys to join, it is totally free. This is my great one, Red Deer Lodge. We need more lodges, EW, please. <laughs> but that is gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I really hope that helps you to find raccoons and that special one that you're looking for here in Mississippi. And if you did enjoy the video, guys, or learn anything at all, I'm gonna ask you to smash that like button. It is so amazing for the videos and I appreciate it so much. Let me know in the comments how much fun you're having in Mississippi and what your favorite species is so far to hunt. Guys, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notify bell so you guys never miss another video. That'll wrap it up for this one, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. I can't believe we have raccoons in Call of the Wild. So amazing. Take care, guys.